Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. We're going to do a review on this Black & Decker 4-in-1 coffee station. We're going to make sure all these, it does a standard mug, travel mug. So it's just a, a small 5 cup. Okay, it's got pretty standard packaging. Um, like I said, it's just a little 5 cup. Looks like a really nice pitcher. Up here, you've got the, you got, so it does come with a um, filter basket. And you can use um, filters, paper filters in it too. So you can do, it's pretty nice that it comes with a reusable filter basket. And it's got the standard place where you pour the water. That's where the steam's going to come out and go over it. It's got a nice little sight glass and an on-off switch. This is non-programmable, so you're just going to turn it on and have coffee. Okay, so one of the features they're uh, claiming is, so you've got this pot, and then it's also got this tray. You can you can brew right into a tray, depending on how much water you put. It does have a nice little, um, so you'd fill it up to there for a coffee cup, or there for a travel mug. So that, that's pretty nice. And then this comes off. I guess if you did a coffee mug, you'd want it in this. It's got these... Um, grooves or these openings back there you got to line those up with okay so I raised it it's only got two positions this position or down low and that might be a better position if you were doing just a coffee mug you probably get less splatter and to do a travel mug you're just going to take it completely out so here's my travel mug it's a pretty tall one too and it fits in there really nice so that is a nice feature of this uh, I suspect most people are just going to fill up a do a five pot but that is a nice feature. Okay, so one thing I just learned, um, they call this a coffee station. It does not have a warming pad. This, this is not an electric warmer. So your coffee is going to get cold. Um, Mr. Coffee's got a five cup that's a, a little nicer than this, but this has... Yeah, I guess if you were going to brew right into a travel mug and go, or right into your coffee mug and go, this this would be okay. But for putting it in a little five uh, pot and then maybe keeping it warm, there is nothing to keep it warm. Okay, so let's brew a pot of coffee. Uh, Walmart sells these four cup filters. This is a five cup, but even with the Mr. Coffee, these fit it perfect. So up here, this is where your coffee is going to go. you got this little removable tray, like I said, for brewing. It does not have a pause like the Mr. Coffee. If you take the coffee pot out, it had a little plunger that would stop the brew process for a little bit. But this does not have it, so if you take the coffee pot out, it's going to just make a mess. Okay, so we're going to put our filter in. I'm not going to use... These are nice. I'm not going to, I'm not going to use it. So I like use I like paper filters. So most coffee makers say one tablespoon tablespoon per cup of coffee. So for a five cup, that's this is a half a cup, so it's just a little less than a half a cup. You're gonna dump it in there. I've got the water already in the pot up to the five mark. You're gonna pour it in the back. I like this pitcher, it pours really nice. Okay, then you're going to put it down below. You're going to make sure you close the lid because the hot steam is going to be coming out of there. It snaps. It's got a nice little blue light. Turn it on and I'll time it. It's probably going to do the standard brew. Okay, so it took about seven, six and a half, seven minutes to brew five cups. And it did a pretty good job on the coffee grounds. So the biggest thing with this coffee pot is there's no warmer. I do like it. It pours really nice. Like I said, there's just no warmer. Nothing to keep it warm. Okay, we'll check temperature. That's about standard. 65, 67. Okay, so it does have this nice little handle on it. to go. You can go throw that away now. But it is going to drip on you. Like I said, there's no little... Uh, plunger that pops up when the coffee pot's in Okay, so I do want to try it for the travel mug. The travel mug says three so I'm going to need three tablespoons of coffee in there Okay, so I've got three tablespoons in there. I'm going to want to make sure I got my travel mug in there 
realize this thing will start brewing right away. Okay, so I'm going to fill it up to the three mark. Right there. Okay, so I'm going to close this lid, turn the switch on. The switch was already on. And so say you had a travel, you want to brew right into a travel mug. Okay, so it does have a really nice stream of coffee that comes out. It doesn't spurt or anything. It goes right into the travel mug. And we're about the minute and a half. So it's probably going to take about two and a half minutes. Here's what it looks like when it's brewing. I don't recommend doing it, but you get kind of an idea of the hot water around the coffee grounds. Okay, so that's right about the three minute mark, but you have to wait for it to finish. Still got, so it's going to take a little bit. And if you don't wait, it'll make a mess down here on your tray. And you have to remember to turn the switch off. So what? since it doesn't have a, a, a warmer, you just got to turn the switch off when you're done brewing the coffee. It's about the four minute mark. It's pretty much stopped dripping. But you can see it fills a travel mug up all the way to the top. The back of it does have cord storage. That's a pretty nice feature. Okay, so the last feature it says is this pour over. So you've got to take this, this filter basket out. Like I said, it's got like a... You can put it on a coffee cup or you can pour it into this. But I'm going to use this. I just ran some hot water through the coffee pot. So now this is hot. And I'm going to use it to do the pour over. Now your coffee mug has to be pretty, pretty flat. So I put about two tablespoons of coffee in there. I've never really done this. I'm not sure. Okay, it's coming out. Like I said, I've just never really done this. I probably never will, but wanted to demonstrate it for you. Okay, so again, this is just a dad. This is the Black & Decker Coffee Station. They don't call it a coffee maker, and that's probably because it doesn't have a warmer. So I'm not going to recommend this coffee pot, um, unless you really just want to brew right into a uh, travel mug. But even then, it's just, I don't like the filter basket. It, it leaks on you when you go to empty it. You gotta remember to turn the on off switch off um nope it's just not something i'm going to recommend so again if you could please like and subscribe and thank you for watching